Hey. Good golly. She hit those high notes. Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Like always, I appreciate you guys clicking on my face. Now, I'm switching it up a little bit today and I'm checking out some country music. Carrie Underwood, this song is called Drinking Alone. Now, I've never been one to listen to country music and I don't have anything against, I have friends listen to it. Listen, I grew up in Kansas, all right? My mom grew up on a farm. I know people who today still farm. I'm a city boy though, all right? It's just, it's just never really been my type of speed when it comes to indulging in music. But like I said, I have nothing against it. So we're gonna check this out and I'm gonna let y'all know what I reckon. I'm gonna see how much country slang I can uh, fit into this reaction. But first, we got shout out of the week. Shout out of the week goes to Victoria. Victoria posted on her Instagram a clip of my uh, WAP reaction. <laughs> <laughs> that was uh that's a throwback right there that was back in august i think it was august 10th when i posted that i just looked I'm, i don't have a that good of a memory but shout out to victoria you guys make sure to go show her some love she was one of my new subscribers and i'm assuming went down a little rabbit hole when she found my channel to get all the way back to that video now if you want to be featured in one of my upcoming videos a shout out of the week make sure you go follow me on instagram share one of my reaction videos on your story and tag me in it you just might pop up here next to me now before we get into this reaction if you guys are not subscribed to the page yet go click that button listen i gotta share these stats with you guys all right this is within the last 28 days in the last 28 days my channel has gotten almost 480,000 views okay out of those 480,000, 87.5 percent of those people are not subscribed to my channel do you know how much 87.5 percent of 480,000 is look oh my god that that hurts my heart that's almost 420,000 views from people who are not subscribed to my channel <laughs> that's so many non-subscribers i know people who can't even say that number it's so high my friend tevin it would take him three attempts just to verbalize that number that's crazy listen we need to bring that down all right you guys make sure you go hit that subscribe button and join the family all right i ain't gonna bite you talk to me in the comments we could have fun suggest some music for me let's make this a party now if you want to join the vip section of the party jump on over to my patreon all right there's all types of perks behind the scenes looks you can chat with me one-on-one -on -one all day vote for different reactions all types of stuff all right and it's a great way to show your support to the channel now let's get into this country music. Mm. I don't need to know country music to know that Carrie Underwood is one of the sexiest people alive. Let me make one thing clear. You can buy me a beer, but you ain't taking me home. Mm. No pickup lines, I came here tonight to shed a few tears on my own. But sitting there across the room, I couldn't help but notice you see my little town on your love too. Yeah, my heart might be breaking, but this seat ain't taken. And you got me thinking, we should be drinking alone. <laughs> together. Okay, How, what did she say at the beginning? She said, uh... You could buy me a beer. Let me make one thing clear. You're not taking me home. Why is that always the expectation or like the assumed thing by men? I, I don't drink. All right. But I've always, every time I go out, I see men, you know, offer, like they go up to women and offer to buy them a drink. And then they expect something after that. It's like, what do you, that's, that's not, I just never understood how that's a thing. It's like. You randomly offer to buy this person a drink, and then you expect that this person is obligated to entertain you just because? Because you chose to buy them a drink? Hey. 
Damn, she's sexy. And her voice is out of this world. I love that she's talking about, like, like, yo, I'm here. I'm chilling. I'm by myself. I'm not here to mingle. I'm not trying to fuck with nobody. But you caught my attention. And I see you're doing the same thing that I'm doing. Why don't we do this? Alone, but together. Like, let's do what we doing. What uh, what we came to do here alone, but us. Like, let's go do that by ourselves. This voice. This, I may be wrong. Obviously, I don't listen to much country music, but this is not my idea of what country music is like. This seems like uh, like blues almost, you know, a little a little R and B ish twist somehow. This doesn't seem like straight up just like country music. And maybe that's just this song, you know. Maybe that could attest to just how versatile she is. Said, I'll pretend that I care, baby. Pull up a chair. <laughs> She's uh, she is ruthless. I'm still stuck on. She said, baby, look, I'll pretend that I care. Just pull up a chair. I got problems. You got problems. Uh, <laughs> she said, this night never has to happen. Maybe just don't forget my name. Basically, she's asking for a one night stand, which is crazy to me hearing from a female. That's not something usually the females, you know, are really too uh, too keen to. They don't really like to that that stigma of like initiating a one night stand but she's like hey i'm going through it you're going through it let's go do, through this shit together one night and be done uh, hey uh, good golly she hit those High notes. Mm. Yeah, oh boy, dipped out. She done missed out. Oh, that's tough. Man, how many of you guys have ever been in a situation like that? Like, you're out in public. And you see someone, you lock eyes with somebody, but both of y'all are just like too scared to go initiate the conversation. That's kind of what that reminds me of. I know I've experienced that several times before. Just kind of, you know, you catch someone from across the room, but y'all are both just like waiting for the other person to make a move. And that shit never happens. And then poof, never see him again. Now, like I said, I don't listen to much country music, but... I reckon that there aren't too many like this Carrie Underwood gal. I'll bet the farm on it. Nah, y'all know I'm just bullshitting. That song was dope. Carrie Underwood is gorgeous, and her voice is incredible. The way that she hit those high notes and just controlled her voice like that kind of gave me goosebumps there for a second. And the way she just like told a story throughout the whole song and took us on the journey with her, I'm a fan. 
You guys talk to me in the comments. Let me know how you feel about the video. All right, make sure you share and subscribe. Subscribe, all right, you 87.5 percenters, I'm talking to you. You guys stay safe, stay healthy. I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.